how small changes to a football helmet could prevent injuries on the field. Football faces harsh criticism as it's become alarmingly clear that a large number of football players, both professional and those who aren't, suffer from the long-term effects of head traumas that originate on the field. While some argue that the rules of the game and football culture itself need to change, others are experimenting with modifying something relatively more simple, the helmet. A standard football helmet has two layers, a hard outer shell and an inner layer of padding that's usually made of foam. The human brain is protected by a layer of fluid within the skull. However, that layer doesn't provide enough protection during sudden or forceful impacts, and that's how concussions happen. A typical helmet has several inches of padding inside that slows the acceleration of a direct hit and weakens the force of an impact. Some companies have experimented with putting another layer of padding outside the helmet that can further weaken the force of a hard impact. But that doesn't help against hits from the side that could rotate a player's head, twisting the person's brainstem. This damages the nerves there. A prototype helmet called Zero One has several layers of padding. A malleable outer layer bends inward during direct hits. The layer underneath bends at an angle during rotational hits. Football helmets are not perfect and it's unlikely they'll ever be able to prevent every type of head injury that could happen on the field. But they've come a long way from here.